How many people does it take to bring out your tray of food? Two. Woo! Texas sized Mexican food challenge featuring all kinds of Mexican street food being like tacos. I think 18 tacos. We have a torta. We have a big quesadilla. We also have a pozole or menudo kind of like a soup. Um, and I'm probably forgetting something else, but all these delicious items. Guys, say we are on our way to Austin, Texas to Carnitas El Guero, which is a Mexican restaurant, specifically more like the Michoacan style Carnitas restaurant, or Carnitas, um, which offer this giant Mexican food challenge. Uh, it is a $100 price tag free if you can complete it in the 45 minute time limit. Um, like I said, there's a lot of food. I'm definitely excited. I love Mexican cuisine. I'll get you some more details though momentarily, but like I said, I know there's a variety of tacos. I think I get to choose the kinds. Um, so I'm sure they have like, obviously the carnitas, but I'm sure there's beef and chicken and whatever. Probably get a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, sounds really good. I love Mexican cuisine. Texas biggest Mexican food challenge. Hey, and Texas and Mexican cuisine just go like Tex-Mex, but this is definitely more on the authentic side. So Mexican street food, let's go eat. Hi everyone, here with all the food, looks absolutely delicious. So in front of us we have all the tacos. Um, I did get a pick, so I have um, some of the uh, beef steak or like the fajita beef. I have some tripo, which is tripe, which is actually a test time. I have some pollo uh, de tinga, so like a spicy chicken. I have some El Pastor, which is awesome. I have some lovely looking carnitas, which is amazing. We have the big, big, big quesadilla here. This looks absolutely amazing. So it is mushrooms and chicken. Uh, pollo y chap chaparron, something like that. You know what I'm saying. I have a lovely looking uh, gordita back here, guys. This is, I don't even know if I want to pick this up. This is just oozy goozy. We did get the uh, chicharron, which looks awesome. Mayonnaise, lettuce. Definitely nice and juicy on there. Then have a lovely looking torta. This is massive. This is literally probably like close to a pound of meat on there. Avocado, all the carnitas in that. Um, and then we have everybody the giant, 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 giant bowl of pozole, which is amazing. Which is, if you're not familiar, pozole is like a stew. Uh, so yeah, super cool. Uh, lots of food. Not a lot of time, but I'm definitely excited. I have some onion cilantro here as well. I do have some salsas, a roja, and a verde. And uh, that's about that. I want some avocados. And anyway, looks delicious. So let's get started here just momentarily. Probably gonna start with the, uh, this one of these chicken tacos here. This look real nice. So, how we get rock and rolling? Let's say maybe the count of uh, right now. Hey everyone, welcome to the zoo. Today we are here taking on a massive Mexican food challenge and oh I'm so excited as there's so many of my favorite items here. I mean I just love Mexican cuisine and I love flavors. Very spicy on that brisol on the uh the brisol there. So this is definitely a very large challenge. I mean, I think Mexican challenges are generally like an oversized burrito, maybe like 20 tacos, but to have such diversity in this challenge was something I really liked and definitely appreciated. Love the flavor, I'm gonna this in the... Zola. Mm. Woo! Good flavor. They need the beef? Thank you, have a good night. Mmm. Ooh. 
so much flavor in that. Texas in general is known for its Mexican cuisine with its close proximity to the Mexican border, but I will say Austin, kind of the central Texas, is very strongly known as well. Really nice spices, you got a great fajita flavor. Soy salsa roja. So with all this food, I figured I needed to kind of dive in here, hit it with at least a reasonable speed until I could kind of gauge how things were going. But undoubtedly due to the size, this is like, I'd say, an expert level. There's a very smoky pepper in there, which I love smoky pepper. The quesadilla was super unique, um, and I was definitely hoping to try it, as they used a mesa, like a corn, which I've never actually seen a quesadilla cooked with like corn before. I've always only seen them with like flour tortillas. And I mean, seasoned chicken, mushrooms, how could you go wrong otherwise? Are you? Oh, wow. So while technically I was able to choose like the different flavors of like let's say my torta, um, I did ask for their recommendations. Those are excellent. Yeah. These are super soft, super flavorful. I absolutely love these onions on here. They're seasoned and just like super well cooked, like Nietzsche kind of style. And so I went with like their recommendation for the chicharron, for the gordita. Um, th that was their recommendation also for the uh, quesadilla and uh, the carnitas for the torta. Those were all kind of the recommendations. And then I chose all the different uh, taco flavors, although they also recommend them, recommended them as well. I mean, it's like El Pastor, um, a pollo de tinga, a, you know, a uh, tripa, which is, you know, I think I might have said is intestine. Arguably, it's stomach, but long story short, a piece of the gastrointestinal tract. Um, but yeah, like I said, flavors were good. Meats and everything I had so far were delicious. Um, really good flavors. I really like the salsas as well. And man, I was hoping I was going to get to try the rest of the items. So at that, that's pretty much, I think, all the majority of the information. Let me know what your favorite kind of Mexican food is. I think mine, mm, I mean, I really love a good torta. I love a good pozole, but I think I'm going to go with tacos. Tacos are just such a versatile, standard, amazing you know item which you can put anything in so my favorite mexican food item is tacos i do believe but i look forward to reading what yours is down below so with that let's tune in see if we can complete this giant challenge amazing obviously not for the carnitas and they're great and that freaking onion on there Ooh. and this red salsa buddy so smoky so delicious That beef is so tender, cooked perfectly. Tastes like Mexico. We got the tripa or tripe. Let me know if you ever tried tripe down below. It is in test time, but I love the way they do it here. There's a great texture. It's a good flavor. So I got tripe moving this out of the way. So you can see all the tacos we still have back here. Try the El Pastor. Nice and rich, an incredibly deep, porky taste. That's actually fantastic. Mm. 
And these onions are the best thing ever. Unfortunately, we're down to the last taco. About nine minutes in. So good. So good. I'll get some more of these onions. Super excited to get the chicharro. Mm. Mm. So fatty, soft. I'll probably get, uh, let's hit this quesadilla. This is a giant quesadilla, everybody. Pick it mushroom. This is heavy. Really nice flavor. I mean, you can, like, a mess of, like, the bigger house. I like mushrooms. Do you like mushrooms? Let me know. Yeah, that is juicy chicken mushrooms. I love it. Woo. I see him get some more of those onions, so those are fantastic, but in the meantime, he's getting this huge torta. There's so, so, so much meat on that guy. Just this lovely carnitas. That succulent braised pork. Mm. Got some avocado omelet, throw a little more on there. That is money. Oh my gosh, guys. So rich. Super tender. And that bread is great. It's soft. I'll try to soak there. Right it's good with all the flavors. That's it. More of these lovely onions, guys. I'm going to dump that on there. Oop, so much. <laughs> There's oregano in them, something else, which is just more. The best thing ever. Amazing. So we're coming on about 17 minutes in. This is just absolute sorry. All these flavors are just barred. And I'm super excited to try this one here. The Gordita, this is another big fat huge one. So let's see what this is like. Whoa! That is rich. That is very, very, very succulent, very rich. Is it cheese ruins and meat? 
very, very rich. This is tender. Incredibly moist. Some cheese on there. Talk about flavor. Let's hit this pizzole. And then I'll tell you about everything because I want to tell you about everything. But oh my gosh, guys. Woo. I'm trying to go to good pace, but. That's the end. It's so good. That's some oregano. I love oregano on my pizzole. Let's give this a try, guys. Definitely massive. We have the uh, the hominy, I like the corn in here. And all the meat, I'm, a, I'm not going to really try to show you too close. Mm. Oh my gosh. The carnitas in there, melt in your mouth. Mm. It's nice and rich. Rightly seasoned. Mm. You have some really nice fatty pieces like the skin. Oh my gosh. Woo. I'm gonna see if drinking some of this broth as well. Here. Wow, that is a mouthful of flavor. And texture. So rich. See that oil rim on there? And I would say we are done there. 23 minutes, maybe 10, 11 seconds. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, how was the chef? Ooh. Where do I start? Those onions were crazy. I've never had like a flavored or like an onion that's that good anywhere in my life. Those are the best onions possible. Ask for extra onions. They have, a, I think it's like oregano or whatever's on them. It's delicious. I love that on everything, literally. I was just pouring it off. I absolutely was super impressed with that torta. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly soft, delicious carnitas. The uh, cordilla was great. Those uh, chicharrones on there definitely had that richness, that softness. The pozole was very, very, very good. Incredibly rich, incredibly satiated. That's like a winter food warm you up. Apparently some people say it cures hangovers. I can't vouch for that. But definitely rich and heavy. I think out of the tacos, my favorite was probably the some of the beef steak, the, the fajita beef, but all of them were, oh no, uh, no, I take that back. I'm gonna say the El Pastor. Both, maybe Thai, both of those were absolutely delicious. I just love the flavors, guys. And what I love about all this is it's not like spicy. Like even the salsas really weren't like spicy, but they were spice, duh. And they're blending the salsas back there, like it, it, literally as we speak. Uh, it was just fantastic. I got no complaints. I absolutely loved it. No, I didn't use any limes or lemons. Let me know if you like lemon down below. I don't like it on tacos. I'll eat it by itself, but. So, hi, buddy. We put the 100 all fruit, which is pretty cool. Um, this was awesome. This was definitely the biggest Mexican food challenge I know, especially in Texas. But this was amazing. Totally recommend you guys stopping up by. There's multiple locations around Austin and a couple in San Antonio. So, until next time, buddy, of course, say happy and hungry, happy eating. 
Carnitas El Guero. Sorry my pronunciation. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.